So you've either just purchased Destiny 2 and you're here for the first time, or you're coming back after being away for a period of time. So in this video, I'm gonna go over really quickly what's the best and most efficient way to do two things. One is to level yourself up to what we would call the soft cap, the hard cap, and the pinnacle cap. And then once you're through that, how to level up your seasonal artifact and your XP to expand past that. So again, if you want to, you could go after the most high-end content within Destiny 2. Again, this guide is designed for people who are completely new to the game, and it's also designed for people who are coming back and trying to figure out how to get to whatever activities you do, including in-game activities. And I'll put timestamps so you can determine which areas you're interested in where they're at in the video. First off, if you're fairly new to Destiny, let's talk about a few terms. So in Destiny, the way that you get to your power level so you can get in certain activities, you have the soft cap, the hard cap, and the pinnacle cap. If you're just getting used to Destiny 2, most entry level activities in the game don't really have a power requirement. But the first one you'll probably have is potentially the soft cap. Now the soft cap for this season is 1270. And for that, let's say you come in the game, you're 1100, like how do I get 1270 quickly? You basically do that by playing anything in the game. Now, in my mind, what I would do is I would avoid, especially if you really want to power up to higher levels, I would avoid most of the harder, longer pieces of content because really at the end of the day, you want to grind. You want to do public events. You want to do strikes. You want to do entry level activities that are quick and allow you to gain Ingrams really quickly. Remember, as you're leveling up, your real key is that you're, you're wanting to level up individual pieces of armor or weapons because really at the end of the day, your power level is determined by the average of basically your highest items, whether it's in armor or weapons that you have on your character or in your vault. So with that in mind, you're gonna wanna get as many drops as possible, whether they're blue or purple, whatever. So again, what type of activities you're doing doesn't really matter to get 1270. So, so play the game a lot, get in anything that's ad heavy and really get in anything that has quick loot drops. Again, public events, things like that are really key to getting that. So after you get to your soft cap, next you wanna to get to your hard cap. And again, this is basically for the most part, when you get to hard cap, hard cap's gonna be where you start to get into what you need to minimally do to do harder content within the game. So at that point, look on your director, Look for anything with those yellow icons. Some of those are gonna be powerful, some are gonna be pinnacle. The ones you're gonna focus on are powerful. So for the most part, that are things like getting eight bounties in different core activities, like strikes, crucible gambit, gunsmith, and then whatever seasonal activities are sitting out there may have some powerful rewards. You're gonna to wanna to get prime engrams to drop. Prime engrams primarily come just from, again, you have an ability to get this. The more enemies you kill, the more prime engrams. So just keep playing the game. Leveling up on the core activities. So as you get your Crucible, your Strike, or your Gambit levels to level up, and again, any other seasonal activities that are in the game, that's going to give you a powerful Ingram. And exotics, Exotics will give you a power Ingram as well. Also, the Exotics that can give from Legendary or Master Law Sectors, again, if you do those solos. Your Nightfall or Deal Runs, playing Survival. And then any other thing that is in the game that you can see, seasonal events, the current dungeons, things like that. Again, pay attention as you're looking at your, core, your activities because as you're going to change season to season, then make sure you're doing your powerful next. At that point, if you want to continue to work along those lines, you can go to your second and third characters and you can basically at that point go ahead and try to do the powerful activities on those characters. Now, if you get through all of that and you get to your hard cap immediately, then that's great. And that will prepare you for then getting to your pinnacle activities. Now, the pinnacle cap is where you want to look at next. That's 1330 for this season. And that's also another entry point in the even higher level activities. Now, again, pinnacle rewards are all over the system too, just like powerful. But specifically, you can get those as far as clan XP. When you get enough clan XP, you'll get one of those from Hawthorne. You can do that from doing three gamut matches, three Vanguard matches, or four Crucible matches. You can get that from the 100K ordeal Nightfall, from some of the dungeon uh, completions, from certain levels of trial wins, from the Master Empire Hunt, Exo Challenge, and again, Iron Banner fits in and any other seasonal challenges. So again, the big key is this changes from season to season, but look around your map for things that say Pinnacle Rewards. Those will grant you basically up to 1330. Now, the key is in the first week you're trying this, if you get to your hard cap on those first three characters and you're good, you can go ahead and do your Pinnacle to try to get above that. If you're not in that first week, you may as well just do your pinnacles anyway, because if nothing else, they'll advance you harder towards that hard cap. So again, that's basically the key. Keep doing those, those higher level activities to get to your powerful, your hard cap. 
then work to get to your pinnacle cap. At that point, you will have maxed out what you can this season, so that'll be 1330. Once you finish that, then you can also add to that what you've done through your seasonal artifact. And I'll go over that portion of the leveling process next. So again, this next piece is to get your artifact level leveled up, which will also in turn allow you to add to your power level. I won't go into how XP works in Destiny 2. I do have another video on that if you're interested in, but let's talk about once you're finished concentrating on what the power level looks like by running your other activities, let's look at how you can add to that by doing the most efficient XP grind that you can. So again, I have a much longer video on this on what you can use method that breaks it down with an Excel spreadsheet if you're really interested and goes into all the details. But I will kind of go over what I find is the most efficient way for leveling up your XP. So when you first come into the game, if you've, again, if you're newly returning or if you're new to the game period, one of the first things you're gonna see is probably seasonal event. That seasonal event is typically also tied to some seasonal challenges. And so I would do that and try to get those seasonal challenges done as quickly as you can. That's gonna be one of the first quickest ways to start building yourself up. Because one of the things you're gonna to wanna to do, you're balancing out getting XP as quickly as possible, but also staggering a little bit because as you get up higher in your seasonal pass, you're gonna be able to unlock additional XP bonuses for your fire team and for yourself that allow some of the higher level XP gains to really boost you up quickly. Also, while you're doing this with your ghost, if you're new to um, new to Destiny 2 or if you're coming back, your ghost can now be modified. Upgrade those and get the blinding light mod on them as quickly as possible because that will allow you to get an additional 12% XP boost for just doing things in the game. So do that as quickly as you can. Once you're done with that seasonal event, they kind of jump in to run your three matches for Crucible and do your Crucible bounties at the same time. Do your three Gambit, do your Gambit bounties, do your three Strikes, do your Strike bounties. Do the Exo Challenge, and by that time, you should have your Clan XP, and at that point, just doing those activities, you're gonna get significantly fat far on your seasonal rank. You'll probably get up to about seven or eight ranks just by doing that alone, which will gain you additional power on your character, but also allow you to unlock your seasonal artifact mod, which is key to getting some of the best mods within the game. After that, I would do the simulation event that's on Europa. I would at the same time try to do some of Varric's bounties. And then throughout all that, I would be getting the gunsmith bounties because those are basically bounties when you get different kills with different things within the system. So again, for those, you're just going to have to vary up what you're running, but you can get those fairly quickly. After you get through those core things, and again, making sure you're doing as many of the seasonal challenges that are available to you. Again, those are going to allow you to get the most XP as possible. Then at that point, you're going to reach a little bit of a diminishing returns. I would then go on your other two characters and basically do the same thing. So again, your XP bonuses are shared among all of your characters. So you can do that and exponentially continue to gain XP through that. The other thing is you start to get higher level. What I would also do is when you turn some of those bounties, I would also do that within a fire team, especially if you're new and you have some friends. Go ahead and join a fire team or put an LFG post up. Get into a fire team with activity because at that point, most of those uh, other characters, those people you'll be uh, joining with, will probably have a higher up seasonal rank than you anyway. Just go ahead and then turn your bounties with them. At this point, by doing these this method, you'll within probably a number of hours be able to get up at least all your artifact mods and get those unlocked, but you'll also have probably a significant, if not over 10 over your max power just from doing your XP gains. And that's it, guys. Those are kind of the two core things for getting up quick through the Destiny 2 of these days. Really, the keys are to try to get your, to basically to get your base power through just playing the game, then looking to do powerful activities, then looking to do pinnacle activities. And that'll allow you to get up to 1330 and higher. While you're doing that, you can turn bounties and play things in a certain sequence. So not only do you get that base power increase, but you also get the artifact power being added to your power level, which again will allow you to get into that end game activity that you may want to play. That's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump in my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.